Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. All right, today we saw a lot of clouds and occasionally a little shower went by, but uh, they were very, very light and not too much of a bother. And well, we got a little sunshine trying to break through the clouds right now. You can see that as we look at our eye cam in stores, a little sunshine shining on the field there as we look off into the uh, distance. Uh, plenty of clouds still overhead, though, and the same is true in Old Saybrook, but still a nice day to be out on the water. All right, early warning pinpoint doppers scanning the stage right now. That's the way I expect it to stay as we go through tonight. It's late tomorrow into tomorrow evening where we stand the risk of a shower or thunderstorm, but it's another comfortable day, although the humidity is higher. Temperatures right now are in the 70s. It's 74 in Hartford, 76 in uh, New Haven. And dew point temperatures now, instead of being in the 50s, they're in the low and middle 60s across much of the state, and they're going to go even higher tomorrow. So while we have 60s and 70s in New England, you look off to our southwest and not too far away. Scranton is 80, Philadelphia is 83, Pittsburgh is 86, and Washington, D.C. is 87. And we're going to see temperatures rise into the 80s uh, during the day tomorrow. Why? Well, we got high pressure that's going to shift to the south and east of New England tonight. We got a storm that's going to be racing from the Great Lakes across southern Canada. That's where the bulk of the showers and thunderstorms will be. And that's going to give us a southwesterly flow of warmer, more humid air. And eventually that storm will drag a cold front across the state by late in the day tomorrow, especially tomorrow night when the front will actually move on through. So on Futurecast tomorrow morning, we're dry. Midday, we're dry. Then as we go into the late afternoon and evening, that's when we'll see a few widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. Many towns will not get one. Some towns could get a brief heavy downpour. And then as we go through tomorrow night, a lot of clouds. And I think there will be a couple of lingering showers as we go into the day on Thursday. But right now there's a marginal risk for severe weather off to the south and west of New England as we go through the day tomorrow. All right, lows tonight, they're going to be in the 60s for much of the state and your high temperatures for tomorrow in the 80s, feeling more like July again. And what about the humidity? Well, dew point temperatures are going to start to take off. We'll have dew points in the 60s tomorrow morning. And as we go through the afternoon from lunchtime onward, we're going to see dew points rise into the, well, perhaps even low 70s in some parts of the state. So not only is it going to be warm, but oppressively humid for some of us. All right, here is your seven day forecast Thursday. A lot of clouds and still some leftover showers. We might see some partial clearing later in the day. Temperatures will stay in the 70s and then Friday, partly to mostly sunny and refreshing a high of 73. There could be a couple of showers around Saturday afternoon with increasing clouds, a high near 80. Then look at Sunday and Monday highs in the 80s. Sunday should be dry and sunny. Monday, perhaps a late day shower or storm and turning cooler again by Tuesday. So a lot of ups and downs in that temperature forecast for the next seven days and for the shoreline tomorrow. A warm day at the beaches with temperatures topping 80 even there.